In this video we will be integrating NetXMS with pushover. This video makes a few assumptions and first of all that you already know what pushover is and you already have your pushover user key and your pushover application key ready. If you don't have these yet, please prepare them before we proceed any further. The first thing we need to do is create an action. So we'll go to configuration and actions, add a new action, give it a name. The type will be to execute a command on the management server. And for the actual command, I took this straight from the pushover FAQ. You can see that you can push notifications through pushover using curl. So we will actually copy all of this into a single line like this. And please replace your token here with the appropriate tokens. For the actual message string, we can construct a message string from NetXMS's event processing policy. And again, I took this uh, from the NetXMS documentation. So the actual message string will be comprised of the event severity in square brackets, then the name of the source, source node of this particular event, and then the event message text. So I will take this as the message string, put it into my action and finish it off with the pushover API address. Then create this particular action. Again, you would have to replace your tokens. So now, anytime I actually call this action, a pushover notification will be created with a particular message sent to my actual user key or your group key if you put your group key in there. So with this action, we can now go to event processing policy and actually modify which events should fire this action. So for me, I'm just going to choose the first EPP, which generates an alarm when a node goes down. I'm going to double click on action, server actions. So normally it would generate an alarm, but in addition to an alarm, I will now run the pushover notification server action. And that's all I really need to do. Now, when this particular event gets processed, an alarm will be generated and a appropriate pushover notification will be sent. If you want to see example strings of how these notifications actually look like, here are two examples. So again, we can see the severity in square brackets, which node originated the event and then the particular event text. Or in this case, a minor event happened on my router and the interface customers went down. And these would be the actual notifications you would receive through pushover. Now you can modify all your EPPs or the EPPs that you want to receive pushover notifications through and you should be all set.